Hello friends, Metabot here, and today I'm playing some more Final Fantasy Pixel Remaster. Oops, I changed my main character! Go back. Okay, there we go. And today we're going further into the Earth Cave thing. <laughs> I heard, Cavern of Earth. I didn't even look at it when it said the name of it on the when I went inside. But uh, we're going deeper. And uh, poison on the first turn is not so great because it's going to do a lot of damage over time. Uh, yeah, we've lost like 46 HP to poison in this one battle. Not so cool. We do have lots of antidotes. We have three potions. Maybe I should have bought some potions. I know we're like out of money, so... Not a good idea. Okay, let's see. Oh, there's like nothing in here. There's a stairs there, there's a door there, and a door down there. We'll go to the right door first. Hilgigas, I think these are new. We got another preemptive strike. Oh, they didn't die to two hits and did 54 damage. I only did 18 damage to Korad. I mean, he was defending, but Rukas is just fragile, I guess. We got a lot of experience for that. Okay. Um, key, key. Okay, 20 damage to Korad. 3 damage to Frank. Nice. Just keep attacking Frank, please. And Frank leveled up. We got uh, good HP up and strength up. Nice. Nice little level up there, Frank. Didn't get anything else, but uh, I'm cool with just those things. So those are the two most critical things. Why did it try to run away? Is it scared of us? How can you be scared of these little wimps? They're like half your size. Korad, level up. Uh, intellect level up, nice. HP didn't go up very much. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the intellect up though. Okay, let's make sure that's the only other room. Yeah, okay. A coral sword. Accuracy goes up two. And attack only goes down one. And it's coral, so a sword that's effective against aquatic enemies. We'll equip it later, I guess. Oops, I equipped it. A tent and 330 go. Cobras, lots of cobras. Quarry cobras. Can they poison? They seem like they would be able to poison. Huh? Yeah, they can. Come on now. Chop it. Chop it up. Ariel is almost leveled up. More things that can poison us. This is really not fun with all this poison, you guys. Oh my gosh, and they keep poisoning Frank! RL got decent HP up and a lock up. Not amazing, but I'm I'm good with the HP up. Oh no! Preemptive strike. Let's get down to this. Oh, it's three ogre chiefs. That's a little scary. Inside. Oh no! Oh, 
Oh, it's just an Earth Elemental? 73 damage! Oh my gosh! I got a remedy. <laughs> oh my gosh, 73 damage! 575 gil, a leather shield, and 5,000 gil. Nice. Leather shield is worse than what we have, so... I'm watching my friend Fates play through this game right now. He's playing on Twitch, and he's not shopping. No buying items or armor. He does buy magic, because there's no other way to get magic, but... Um... So he's only getting the armor and items that he can find through monster drops and through treasure chests, which is pretty interesting. Um, I like doing challenge runs in games, but this game I just like playing kind of normal. Maybe I'll do that sometime, no shopping. Um, I especially like doing challenge runs in um, ooh, a good HP up, but that's it. Who's that? Urkus? Okay. I can take the good HP for Urkus because he's. He needs it. But I especially like doing challenge runs in Unlimited Saga. That's probably my favorite. No! Ambushed by Gargoyles! Three. Three. Ten. Three. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Why did they only attack four times? There's five of them. Okay, gargoyles are no big deal. For some reason, I was afraid of them. Okay. Big area. Holy moly! Let's attack the chiefs and then um, defend, and we will use Blizzara. There they go. Cockatrice. Okay, these guys are scary because they can uh, stone you like that. Just attack, kill it. At least you still get experience while you're stoned. I have two gold needles. Got a sleeping bag. We should maybe go back and buy gold needles. Cockatrice again. They seem to have lowered the proc rate in the Pixel Remaster compared to the NES version. In the NES version, I feel like you just get stoned every time they hit you. Okay, there's another room over there. I forgot to check the map while in the room. Because it's easier to see where the rooms are if you're inside a room. Oh, Pisco Neiman, I remember these guys. These used to be scary back in the... Uh... Oh my gosh, 75 damage. Maybe they're still scary. 20 damage. We can take them out in one hit now, but they still uh, can dish out quite a bit of damage. Let me get decent experience for them. Um... Ew, I used the the control stick for movement instead of the, like, D-pad. This is weird. It felt really weird. Monsters in a box. It's Earth Elemental again. This guy's not too scary. Just don't hit Rukus. Oh, we got a gold needle. Thank you. <sighs> oh, 
cockatrice are terrifying. I forgot to look at the map while I was in the room again. Oh. Oops. I meant to stop the auto battle, but I didn't think about it. I was just like sitting there ready to put my commands in. I forgot I had to actually stop the auto battle. Okay, let's look at the map. We got those two rooms. There's nothing else over there. There's a little room there and an empty room up there. 3,400 gil. Key, key. Mummy, let's go ahead and DM. Why not? Oh, I was out of MP. Frank, agility and stamina up. I guess it's not terrible, but I would rather get a strength up and uh, some more HP than that. But he already has pretty high HP, so I can't complain. This is an empty room. Maybe it'll have like an enemy in it. Yeah, it has an enemy and some uh... <clears throat> ambush by Pisco demons. Please just keep. No! Oh my gosh, that did a lot of damage. It's an earth elemental. Korad got three HP. What a level up, Korad. What a level up. Three HP. That's your whole level up. You're a whole level stronger and that's it. Three HP. Oh no, ambushed by all these guys. Gotta level up. Four HP. <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? Monsters. Preemptive strike. Nice. One thousand twenty go. Whew, preemptive strike against the cockatrice. Very relieving. Uh, you see those and you're scared, and then it says preemptive strike, and you're a little less scared. Just a little. Look at this bat that we can talk to. It's a different color. Do you think it'll say key key? I wonder. All things in this world are destined to end in death. The seal cannot be broken, and so the earth shall rot. You cannot alter destiny. Mere mortals cannot kill the undying. They can if they have Dia. This guy's actually just a regular enemy from later in the game. So I don't think he's terribly difficult. 49 damage is uh, some decent damage though. Beats down. <laughs> Dramatic death after three hits. Nothing, nothing after his death, he's just gone. We got the Star Ruby! And 
then uh, we'll go ahead and go over here even though I know I can't continue. Just so we see what it looks like. Mummy! Lucas got agility up. Great. Oh crap, Kira's on the same as Tiara. Uh, we, uh, we don't have much MP left. A stone slab is set on the floor, and evil force seems to emanate from within. So we can't do anything with that yet. But we do have the star ruby, which means we can feed it to um, the giant. Which means we can get to the other side of Giant's Cave. And uh, that's where we can talk to that dude. And uh, hopefully he can tell us more about this. I already know he can. I already know he can. There's that scholar guy or whatever he is. Sage. Hiding out over on the peninsula or... Is that the Devil's Tail Peninsula? Or are we on Devil's Tail Peninsula right now? Not cockatrice. No! Well, they dropped a gold needle, thank you. We have to walk all the way back out because they make a dungeon that you have to go in and walk back out of, but they don't let you have um, teleport yet. And we shall walk. Ooh, gas and white. Those look new. They're like weird colors. Okay, we just need to make it out of here alive. We don't have any more cure spells. But the enemies are not too threatening. There's a few really threatening enemies in here. We do have an X potion and um, a high potion left. And I think a regular potion as well. Ochre jelly, that's new. Run! I don't like using the run. I think he moves fast enough on his own. We got a hill, Gigas. Okay, and then we gotta get... Oh, I got a money bags trophy. We gotta get all the way up to there. Minotaurs, I don't remember being a big deal. Cobras, oh, there's five of them, but we do have a preemptive strike. I don't think they can poison, or if they can, it's a really low proc rate, so. Cobras are really not that scary. They don't even give that much experience. I think we just walk a little to the left here and we're out. They dropped a knife. Gargoyle. Okay. So I don't feel like dealing with 
this many large wolves. We escaped. We just need to make it back over here and we can rest at the end. Gas and ghouls, there's so many! Let's flee from these two. We did it! We made it back! Let's rest it then. And then we'll go shopping. We'll buy magic first. Let's see. Oh, we have a lot of money now. Okay, let's, uh, let's buy Karaga for sure. Um, and life. And Diaga. And we'll go here. And we'll buy, of course, Fireaga. Um, then we'll save room for teleport. And we'll buy Slora. Let's see if we have enough to buy the uh, armor. I forget how much it was, but I know it was a lot. The knight's armor. Oh my gosh, we barely have enough. But it raises our defense by 10. 10! Alright, so next time we'll head over to the um, Giant's Cave and give him a ruby to eat so he will let us through. I will see you guys later. Have a good one and bye-bye. My mouse is like way over here so I have to like stretch to click the stop recording button. Bye guys.